Hey everyone, it's Libby from My Stitch Harrow. I'd like to acknowledge the Waramai First Nations people, the traditional custodians of the land on which these videos are made, and welcome to you, your guides, my guides, and the universal energies. Okay, entertainment only. I'm going to have a look at, um, oh, <laughs> sorry, pet hair. <laughs> I had to think how much I consume with two dogs and a cat in the house. Um, what does Ivanka Trump really think of Donald at the moment. She's made herself very scarce for the last 12, 18 months, uh, really trying to distance herself. I have seen that she has uh, given information to the likes of Jack Smith, etc., in regards to Donald uh, to save her own skin. Uh, I do feel that uh, she's also going to flip on Jared at some stage to save her own skin. Yeah, here she is, the, um, uh, making an offer. Um, but I want to see what she really feels about uh, Donald, her father. I mean, this is the favourite, favourite offspring. Oh, and here she is bringing uh, insider whistleblower information. Um, I also want to have a look at, as the week goes on, uh, Biden's uh, Secret Service. Is there a mole in there? So I want to have a look at China. But they, I'll save those for tomorrow. Otherwise, I'm just getting putting out zillions of videos. So I just want to feel in today's a bit more of a spiritual day in several terms. So let's have a look. Let's have a look. What does Ivanka, Ivanka Trump really feel about Donald? Show me what does Ivanka really feel about Donald at the moment. What's Ivanka? What's Ivanka doing with Donald? Using my Gilded Tarot Royale or I'll beat up deck. Let's have a look. What does Ivanka really feel about Donald? Donald, who was at the Formula One, there's footage of him walking down whatever he was, pit lane or whatever it was, and basically being ignored by everybody. Had a hunch, he was sort of hunched over, giving the thumbs up, trying to wave to people, but nobody was really waving back. Uh, posted on his untruth social uh, that he had visited the winning car before it had won, and that's why it won, because he put his a special magic mojo on it. Oh, please. I know a card's fallen out. It's on the floor. I'll pick it up in a second. What does Ivanka really feel about Donald? What does she, what's Ivanka really feel about Donald? Well, that's the second card. What does she feel? The energies that Ivanka is in at the moment. The energies that you want that one as well. The energies that she's in at the moment. So, energies for Ivanka. You'll notice nobody's turning up in court for him. Nobody's even going to Mar Lago, even though she lives just down the road. Okay, I'll just pick that card up. Oh. And bring you down. Right. First card out, this one. Oh, oh gosh. Okay. First card out was this one. Um, emotion, a gaining of emotional maturity. Um, stepping into a higher emotional level. Negoti can be negotiated as diplomat. It's my Biden administration card. It's my DOJ card. It's very much about stepping up into a higher emotional level. I'm just looking for major arcana. This is huge. Crossed by feminine strength, compassion, empathy. So I'm getting that this is Ivanka. She's emotionally um, moved away. Uh, she's on this higher, oh, three major arcana, I'm sorry, court card. She's moved into a higher emotional realm away from her father it may be that she's working with the doj but here's the feminine the feminine compassion uh as much as we might loathe her uh in certain degrees she is very um she ha she has a strength within her that her brothers don't have and she knows how to harness that strength uh she will play on that strength she knows, uh, she knows her own worth is what I'm getting there. And um, she's very much all about her mama lion protection for her family. 
two cards behind the scenes. We've got the Judgment card and the Wheel of Fortune. Energies behind the scenes. How does Ivanka feel? Uh, she's had an awakening. She's had a real awakening. Uh, and the wheel has turned. Where once she was daddy's girl, once where she thought the sun rose and set on him, she's had a real awakening where the wheel has turned. Um, yeah, a real awakening uh, about his moral, financial, ethical corruption. But she's also, I'm going to say, banished him out. I don't even know that he sees his grandchildren or his children. I'm talking to Ivanka. I think she's just got nothing to do with him. I think she's cast him out um, because she's, she's just done. End of a cycle. Done with the chaotic messaging that he's putting out there. The karma. So she's now, uh, for her, it's all about the family. Her children and the I'm looking looking at the two levels here. This is the sabotage, the infighting, the betrayal, the deceit, the um, throwing under the bus, the win at all cost. She's I'm going to say conflicted here between the chaos. I think as um, Dave calls it, the um, drunken hillbilly brawl of the family versus the calm and serenity of her own family environment. I'm not talking about Jared here. I'm talking about her and her children. Wow. Sort of truth. She's She's got this wisdom. She's drawn this sort of truth. She's found her own peace by bringing forward the truth. Oh, here, yeah, here she is, the Ice Queen bringing forward this sort of truth, seeing the truth, balance, moderation, protection, peace, with the stub of peace in what is a nightmare scenario. The sword's in this nightmare scenario and significant new plan for a new beginning for her. Okay, I don't think she has anything to do with him. I think the karma over her is the, the the chaotic message infighting within her own family, as opposed to the uh, with her siblings and her dad, uh, her uh, sisters-in-law, so her her brothers, wives, etc. But as opposed to the the peace and serenity of her own in a sanctum, in her own home. I think she's really, she's A, flipped on him, but she's had an awakening and discarded, discarded him is what I'm getting there. Okay, let's see about back the other way. Show me. Donald's relationship with Ivanka. Yeah, she was similar to um, Fred and Mary's reading, but I think she took the blindfold off and saw the snake. Took the blindfold off and saw the snake in the path. I'm not talking about third leg snake. I'm just talking about his, his lower than a snake's belly dealings. Show me what's Trump's relationship with Ivanka. Let's have a quick look. Trump's relationship with Ivanka. From Trump's point of view. I don't think she's being mean to him or anything. She's just, oh, I'd love to, but I'm not available. Uh, sorry that you know, it doesn't suit at the moment type. Getting a like a compassionate ghosting, if that makes sense. Come on down. Well, here she is again, the Ice Queen, stepping into her power, her truth, her, her knowledge and wisdom. 
her brutal um, realisation of reality, surrounded by these doves, doves of truth, and she is her own, I'm going to say she's a, her own woman, And but I'm always drawn to the fact that this peregrine is um, jessied and hooded. Um, I think she's just not listening to him. Trump's relationship with Ivanka, oh, goodness me, all these um, female energies. Um, the cup, don't see its contents. The lid's offered. It's like an emotional offering, but not a physical one, not a practical. In the past is their relationship that was creepy, but it was quite intense, but it's in the past. Crowning this reading, yeah, she's looking after her own. She's taking care of her own. She's protecting her own family, her, her own money. Yeah, the immediate future, this brawl going on externally. Yep, she's shifted into this. Um, well, we've got the queen and the king. She's just in this different energy maybe throwing under the bus to the DOJ. Similar cards, different order internally. She has this uh, strength of hers under control. The family, okay, the outcome, the manipulation, the new plan, the manifestation. The manifestation of a new beginning for her which I don't think he's involved in because she sees him clearly for what who he is. She's stepping into her authority, taking deciding what she wants her future to look like and it's stabbing him through the heart. Here she is. I think... He, this is going to sound awful, but I think he saw her as, as a mother figure. I know he said, oh, gosh, the stuff he said about it was just awful, but he was putting mummy dearest onto her, which she just can't carry. She, it was burdensome, it was toxic, and she's had an awakening. Something out of like unexpected out of left field where he's going to have to defend himself. There's a money trail and healing. Um, I'm really getting she's going to bring secrets out about him in for justice. It's going to be absolutely leveling for him. I'm getting that you know, I'm just really I'm hearing a um, I mean, I'm getting that she's not being mean to him or anything like that, but I am getting that um, she's ghosting she's ghosting him in how do I put it? She's ghosting him in a polite manner, if that makes sense. Um, but she's she's betraying him. I'm just going to say she's betraying him. She is betraying him. She's um, giving up the goods on him. It's going to be really um, heartbreaking for him. Breaks her heart too because at the end she's he's her daddy. What's Trump feeling about what's going on with my bunker? What's he feeling? Not that one. Well, it was self sabotage. He's bordered upon himself with his win at any cost. 
Perhaps he's determined to win her back. She does, she's not accepting any offers that he's offering. Karma's, it, 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 this karma is here for him. I'm getting that from this, he, he's trying to impress her with his wins on the battlefield or something, but it's, it's, a, it's an abusive win, if that makes sense. Um, He's, I just, yeah, I'm really getting that he's trying to, he's, he's desperately trying to um, show off his wins to get her approval and she's just, she's not giving it. She's moved on into this energy and she is very much about, um, going within for healing and here is her emerging from the queen of swords to the queen of wands bringing forward a new plan a new way forward a new message I, you know i don't particularly like her and yeah she's moved she's moving on and we've got the whistleblower and the ace of swords um yeah He's continuing this abusive behaviour, trying to impress her, trying to win her approval. But it's not working. It's not working. She's moved on. She's out of there. She's like, now, can't say I like her, but I do, I, I do give people um, the ability to learn their lessons I mean we're all put here to learn lessons and if they learn their lesson and move on and become better people for it I'm all for that and I think that's what she has actually done I'm not going to say doing I think she's actually got it in play at the moment okay I'm going to leave it there love to you all take care